Welcome to this short presentation on Trinity Joint Honours. My name is Graham Murdoch and I'm Associate Professor in European History in the School of Histories and Humanities and I'm also currently Associate Dean of Undergraduate Common Architecture. And so one of my jobs is to oversee Joint Honours programmes at Trinity. What I want to do in this presentation is set out some of the key features of Joint Honours programmes at Trinity and also provide you with links to further information that you are going to want to consult as you decide whether one of these programmes is the right choice for you for your university degree. I want to highlight some of the key features of Joint Honours programmes at Trinity and I want to begin with this slide and the words quality and variety. I think the first and most important feature of Joint Honours programmes at Trinity is the quality of the research, of the teaching and learning that is available in the departments that participate in our programmes. And their quality is not only nationally, but internationally recognised as amongst the highest quality anywhere available. And you see here some details on that regarding departments, including English and religion, and geography, law and politics. Aside from the high quality of the teaching and learning in the departments in Joint Honours and in the subjects of study that are available in Joint Honours, there's also a wide variety of subjects that are possible to study. From 2021 to 22, there will be 28 subjects available through Joint Honours programmes, and those can be taken in 162 uh, possible combinations. And I'll come back to speak about those combinations in a little moment. Here, though, are the 28 subjects that are available within the family of joint honours, and they range from ancient history and archaeology, classical civilization, Middle Eastern Jewish and Islamic civilizations, through to a range of modern languages, including French, German, and Spanish, through to subjects like business and economics and law, to philosophy and religion, from music to mathematics. So a very wide variety of subjects that are available for study. Those subjects are taken in combination and this admittedly complicated table sets out the possible combinations that you can study. You can't study every subject with every other subject and so it's important to consult this table which is available in the online prospectus to make sure that the combination or combinations that are of particular interest to you are in fact available for study. So, although not everything is possible, there is a wide variety of combinations of subjects that you can apply to study at Trinity through Joint Honours. And those combinations are growing as new subjects join the suite of Joint Honours programmes. And I just want to highlight here some of the new combinations that are available, including computer science and geography, or social policy and economics or social, so, sociology and the history of art and architecture. So there's a range of different subjects which are now available and that number is growing each year. So quality and variety are two central features of Joint Honours programmes at Trinity. But I now want to turn to another key element of Joint Honours and that is the options, those, the, that is the options that are available after you arrive in Trinity. As you can see on this slide, underneath the heading of Joint Honours, you'll see subject one and subject two are listed. So the two subjects in combination that you would apply to study in college. But as you continue in your programme of study, you can see that different options and different pathways are available within your degree. So, there's option one, to study both subjects all the way to a Joint Honours Award. So say if we take an example of History and English, you could apply to study History and English, and you can begin to study History and English and carry them on equally all the way through your four years. And at the end, you would have a Joint Honours Degree Award in History and English. But there are different options available. So for example, under option two, you could decide during your programme of study that in fact, you're more interested in one subject and would like to concentrate more on that subject uh, within your programme of study. 
If we revert to the example of history in English, you could decide that in fact you want to study the discipline of history and to major in that subject while continuing with English as a minor in English. And then you would come out with a major degree in, in history and minor award in English. And there's a further option, option three, which is that having begun to study two subjects, you may decide that in fact, one subject is where your heart lies and you can want to specialize in that subject and study it to a single honors award. And so in different subjects, that option is available. And you could go on then in my existing example to a single honors degree in history. So there's a variety of pathways within the degree program after your arrival in Trinity and al alongside the two subjects of study that, that uh, you, would, uh, you would begin with, you can also study different disciplines and subjects through Trinity electives and open modules. And you can find more details about those in the online prospectus. So there's breadth, there's variety, there's option, there are options available, and there are different pathways that you can uh, take towards your final degree award. So that in brief, is basic information about the structure of joint honours and about the range and variety of options that are available for study. And I just want finally to encourage you to follow up if you're interested with further and more detailed information about admissions and you see the relevant pages of the prospectus to consult there. And also to encourage you to look in close detail at that complicated table I showed earlier on to make sure that the combination of interest to you is in fact um, available. And if it is, then you'll find the relevant CAO code will be on that table. Also to say that international students, and we have a very diverse uh, cohort of students in joint honors, and international students can find country specific information relevant for them at the link provided there. And that students entering college through non-CAO routes also can, can find further and more detailed information at the available uh, link. So I want to thank you for your attention to this presentation and to encourage you to seek further information if it's of interest to you. You can also look at our website there with the um, under the tcd.ie forward slash tgh. And you can also contact us in the Joint Honours Office or through admissions and we'll be delighted to answer your questions and to provide any further information that you need. Thank you.